In the earlier session, we have seen how to construct a combinational system using schematic entry in ISC Project Navigator. In this session, we'll be constructing a sequential system. For that, we consider a JK flip flop with transition table as shown, where QN plus 1 is the next state and QN is the present state. JK are the inputs. With every positive edge of clock, this transition happens. With K asserted, output resets. With J asserted, output sets. And if both J, K are asserted, output targets. So this is the functionality of J, K flip-flop. So let's create a schematic file with appropriate name. So in the library of ISC Project Navigator, we have already inbuilt flip-flop. So to call upon, we need to select all symbols. And then the flip-flops are called upon by the name F, which is flip-flop, and followed by the name of the flip-flop, which is JK. And then the functionality required, like with clear, then clear and enable, with preset, with preset and enable, with reset, and so on and so forth. So let's take a very simple JK flip-flop module with only clear. So let's save it. So let's quickly assign or quickly... So let's quickly mark the inputs and outputs. Terminal. Now we'll rename. Now we'll rename the input and output terminals. So having renamed everything, so let's save the file. And let's check the design rule. So we'll select the schematic and then we'll check the design rule. To get some more features, let's set the let's set the schematic as the top module. Now to test the module so created, we'll create a test fixture. And we'll select the module appropriately, which is my JK. Note the inputs and output variables. So let's switch to the simulation tab. And this is the test fixture which we have just created and this is the unit under test my underscore jk so here we have input and output declarations and this is the instantiation which we'll be seeing later so let's quickly define the possibilities of inputs so to make it readable We'll take all the inputs in one line. And at start, we'll try to assert the clear signal. Having done this, after some appropriate delay, we'll deassert the clear signal. And since clock we will be defining separately, we'll remove the clock signal. We'll remove the clock signal declaration. So with random time of 205 nanoseconds, let's try changing the inputs for J and K only. And one can 
put appropriate comments so here it is the initialization the initial part now to create the clock behavior we'll use an always block idea behind clocking is to toggle the signal with appropriate delays here we go so the test picture so the test picture is created so let's save and simulate the module so first we'll check the syntax and then we'll simulate the module so the output is generated in icm program in form of graphs here we go so this is the output for the inputs set in the test fixture so one can see clearly the output toggle feature so let's see the transition table again and at the end it toggles so this is what we talk about the toggling nature so here j k both d asserted output is zero because previous state of q was zero so with initial j k zero it remains same and with j and k one output toggle so this is the toggling nature what we talk about so this is how we simulate or how we start up with the sequential system